It's 87 degrees, it's Tuesday afternoon. We're doing a little early garden update. Uh, Leanne got out of work early. I'm done for the day, uh, so we're gonna go get some sushi. Uh, but uh, let's look at the garden, which is now pretty exclusively tomatillos. Uh, here are all the tomatillo plants, plus a weed. Let's see if you can find it uh, in the lush greenery. Uh, so we have one carrot holding on down there. Uh, hey, Kevin. Uh, and then this is a weed, which I have to pull out. Uh, but then the rest of this pretty much are tomatillos. Uh, that's some funky looking bug. Where'd he go? Uh, I'm trying to find him on the phone. Uh, tucked underneath here. Uh, I hope you can see him. Hey, Matt. Uh, but all of these are tomatillo plants, so they're probably, I'm guessing 10 or 12. Um, so I'd say from the ground, sorry for the hum of the lawn maintenance, so ground level view uh, versus the six foot view. Uh, this should be fun. Uh, uh, we'll pause. Uh, maybe not. Uh, so these are the tomatillos, the basil I cut back because uh, I ate a bunch of it uh, recently so it's growing back nicely which is great. The little ones down below uh, haven't grown as much as the other plant that I purchased. And then we see another weed in there in Italy. Um, the Brussels sprouts are this back row, uh, so you can see something's nibbling pretty heartily on the leaves. Um, it might be some of these beetles, um, so one of the things I'll do is uh, spray the plant with dish soap and water, uh, so just some uh, dish detergent and water uh, to spray on the leaves, and then that should kill any of the little bugs uh, or beetles that are eating up the leaves. Uh, and then that's kale down below. Uh, that's also a weed right here. Um, that's a weed right there. Uh, otherwise, it's now the tomatillo garden. Uh, so give it up uh, to the tomatillos. Uh, there will be uh, tons of salsa this fall uh, at the office. Uh, the lilies are dying their slow death uh, along the back of the house. Um, a mink. Um, I kill, cut down a tree here. Um, otherwise, we have on the side of the house. Uh, hey, Brian, a uh, cucumber. I watered these this morning. Hey, Jamie. Um, and then we have uh, two Bolano peppers. Uh, insufficient for all of the salsa I'll be making. But, oh, I didn't see this this morning. Very exciting. A uh, little Poblano starting to grow right there. Uh, and then right there. Um, and then these little tiny buds, those are also Poblanos in the making. Um, and then Jamie, I'll be sure to share this to YouTube, my podcast, my Instagram story. I got to get on that lady's level uh, to be an internet sensation. Um, and then here are two more tomatillo plants. Uh, not envisioning that I would have the garden full of them this year. Uh, and then we have two uh, tomato plants. So good thing about tomatoes is they love heat. Uh, I just saw one. Where did it go? Um, I thought we saw a little one that was growing. Maybe it was just my eyes deceiving me. Uh, but these are essentially Roma tomatoes, this plant, which is growing nicely. Um, and then this one, uh, they're grape tomatoes. And so we see the sea of buds, uh, which will become cherry tomatoes. Once that happens, it'll be going into the office. And then our mascot today is this di dead dried bug. Uh, so that's the summertime 87 degree summertime garden update uh thanks for watching everybody have a great fourth of july uh be sure to send me pictures of your food and gardens bye